Responding to his latest claims, the BN strategic communication team said Rafizi has claimed that the Seoul Line 9 MRT project should be considered thrice its actual length due to the fact that it is an underground project while the SBK line was above ground. The team, however, stressed that the Seoul Line 9 project was not fully underground, citing the Gewa station to the airport as an example. It also said Rafizi had totally ignored the fact that the cost of tunneling varies based on geology. For example, the Seoul Line 9 runs along the south banks of the Han River, where the majority of the tunneling is through soft compacted soft sand as opposed to the hard granite and limestone formations of Kuala Lumpur. The BN team added Rafizi continued to use 28 billion ringgit as the cost of the MRT SBK line as it must include 7 billion ringgit in consultancy fees despite MMC Gamuda having already announced that the consultancy fee is 750 million ringgit. As such, it urged Rafizi to stop embarrassing himself any further after being repeatedly exposed and admit his failure and deceit.